And on the whole, all of those studies point to improvements in executive control and function. So that context-dependent switching of knowledge and your ability to think about things in a, in a very agile way, if you will. If people did a high intensity interval training session just before they do that bout of cognitive flexibility learning. However, several studies have also looked at the effect of repeated bouts of high intensity interval training. And in some cases, looking at the mechanisms by which high intensity interval training improve cognitive performance. And the basic takeaway is the following. And again, I'll provide references to these in the show note captions. That high intensity interval training done before, or believe it or not, even during cognitive flexibility tasks, a couple of studies have actually explored that, significantly improves performance on those tasks. Again, we believe this is likely through enhanced levels of arousal, although some data also point to the fact that it's also likely through enhanced cerebral blood flow, simply more blood being delivered to the brain during or in particular after high intensity interval training. More blood, more fuel, and other molecules being delivered to the brain during a cognitive task or cognitive flexibility task makes sense why that would improve cognitive function. And yet, when studies have explored the consequence of doing multiple high intensity interval training sessions, and when I say high intensity, I mean high intensity